so there's this aspect of our personality which uh, involves how we recharge our energies how we gain our good vibes how we feel energized and 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 every energy every energized and invigorated so you've got two categories of people you've got those people who are extroverts who enjoy being in the outdoors and enjoy mingling with all manner of people and enjoy talking to person after person after person and going for gatherings and ooh, they never get tired basically they are always around people and that is how they get re-energized that is how they get their energies that is how they get um psyched up for life uh, if you leave them alone uh, i mean you'd be forcing them to really really you know be depressed or be uh, people that they're not meant to be so they will always be in all gatherings they will be the ones hosting they'll be the ones putting people together for for chama for branches for bible study for so you they, you know they enjoy being in the company of other people and they don't get drained by just mingling and understanding what other people want what other people need it's exhausting why am i saying it's exhausting because now this is my personal bias i'm an introvert i fall in the other spectrum which uh is more of liking smaller intimate gatherings or none at all no offense and we just like chilling at home enjoying a cup of coffee reading a book having a nap watching a movie taking yourself out on a date actually there's a person i was telling that i usually take myself out for dates and she's looking at me like are you are you okay are you crazy but that is how i regain my energy that is how i re-energize myself that is how i i feel good that is how i can i connect with the world and the environment around me and i can imagine so many introverts relate with me um for a very long time me being an introvert was an issue because I was being formed I was being forced to conform to the other side because being an introvert many people misunderstood that it was me being a social me being unfriendly me being rude and condescending and so it's got nothing to do with that it's just I enjoy my own space I don't appreciate being in large gatherings and when I find myself in such large, uh, large gatherings at the end of it it is so exhausting um I will literally lock myself in the house for a week just to recover from the other episode and in this day and age i want to point out that i appreciate that people are now accommodative of the fact that we all don't have to be extroverts or we don't have to be introverts that we need to accommodate one another with our difference in personality we need an environment where if i tell you um large crowds overstimulate me or at some point i will need to zone out for a couple of days just to recover from mingling with too many humans like it gets too people out there that i would rather just have a click of three people and i'm okay and sometimes three is too much then it's okay then we also need to create space for our loud friends yes those ones who are always in clicks those ones if you invite one they'll come 10 you know those <laughs> those ones who you know they're always the life of the party and and and, and you know they they come out as super confident and super all figured out let us also create space for them by the way and popular opinion being an introvert does not mean that you're not confident being an introvert does not mean that you cannot speak up for yourself being an introvert does not mean that you are shy it just means that you keep more of your thoughts to yourself that you people watch you take notes in your mind and you sieve and decide what to share and what not to share that you'd rather journal your thoughts as opposed to just telling the person next to you that you'd rather have a small clique of people who you feel comfortable with and that is than being around 30 people and none of them you get to create an authentic um intimate connection with one another let us create an environment where you accommodate each other if you're the kind of person who can do with large crowds in the life of the party and you know you're always out and about because you enjoy being around people well and good this is for you if you're the kind of person who doesn't like that and would prefer just being at home and chilling and you know uh, doing your work maintaining a small circle of friends going out once in a while taking yourself out for coffee or even dinner or even a glass of wine that's okay keep at it but at no point should it should anybody force you to conform at no point should anybody make you feel like you're better off if you changed or if you pretended that you enjoy uh you know being out there and being all bubbly and uh, you know just being all over the place while in reality you just would rather be chilled out a little bit more composed than the extroverts no offense um just watching people observing and taking mental notes for yourself so either way whether you are an introvert or an extrovert you are unique 
you are beautiful and handsome you are a whole entity you are a powerhouse and this is what matters thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to comment